begin with breaking news. And as Glenn just said, Hurricane Fiona has made landfall in Puerto Rico today. This has plunged millions of people into darkness as the power has gone out. Here's a live look at the Wyndham Grand Rio Mar on the northeast tip of the island. You can see the winds are ripping through right now. Uh, we will continue to follow this story throughout the night. I'm calling my family as constantly as I can just to make sure they're okay and well and safe because you never know how these things can go. And families here in Rochester who have loved ones in Puerto Rico are scared for their safety. Puerto Rico is suffering a total blackout as Hurricane Fiona rips through the U.S. territory. News 10 NBC's Stephanie Dupre has been speaking to local Puerto Rican families here in Rochester. Steph? Raven, right before our newscast, I was able to speak to a young woman who's from Puerto Rico. She's a student at U of R. She's in her senior year. Her family is back on the island, and they told her that they're saving all of the power they have left. Listen to those whipping winds. That's what's causing the blackout and power outages across the territory. Hurricane Fiona comes just five years after Puerto Rico's power grid was devastated by Hurricane Maria in 2017. Maria left many without electricity for months. That U of R student I spoke to says she's been in Rochester for about three years. She says it's devastating having no communication and wondering if her family is okay. Power outage went out a couple of hours ago on the whole island. So my mom is like, let me save my battery as much as I can because there's probably going to be a power outage maybe for even a few days because the electrical service has never been the same after Hurricane Maria because building it up, rebuilding everything was very, very hard. But I'm from the middle part of the island. I'm from Cialis and everything is good and safe for now. So let's hope it keeps being that way. Governor Kathy Hochul released a statement just a short time ago saying, quote, I'm praying for the people of Puerto Rico who are facing dangerous conditions due to Hurricane Fiona. New York will always stand with and support Puerto Rico. And I was able to get in touch with other people here in Rochester who are concerned for loved ones in Puerto Rico. I'm working to see if we can get pictures or video from their families without risking battery life. I'll have more for you at 11. Raven. All right, Stephanie, thank you.